Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Pearl Charger, which is a four port, 2.7 amp USB charger. So let's get started. Now, this unit that I have is a prototype unit. They sent it to me just for testing, and I've been playing around with it for the past week, and I gotta say, it's very impressive. As far as pricing goes, I don't know how much it is. They're still working out the kinks with their manufacturers, but they do have a website and a Kickstarter that's gonna be coming out in June, so you can check it out over there. Now I've used quite a few chargers myself, primarily just for these Raspberry Pi projects and you know all these other embedded devices. The biggest problem I have with other chargers that I've been playing around with is that it throttles. I don't know if that makes sense or even if that's the word, but uh, what happens is, say I have something plugged into port one and I'm running the Bitcoin miner or something like that. So it's using a lot of amperage and a lot of power to um, run it. Then I plug in a second device that kind of throttles the voltage on the first device just enough so that my first device would actually freeze. So that's what I would say throttling, you know, it kind of dips the voltage down on the other ports. Now this guy doesn't have that problem and that's one of the biggest issues that I have with all these other devices. That's why I get them, try them and they don't work out. So I'm very impressed that this fixes that problem. It delivers more than enough power for all the ports even if you're just plugging and unplugging stuff. Now let's take a look at this guy. It does have a metal top and a metal bottom or aluminum I could say. I'm not really too sure but it is have, but it does have some weight to it and does have a numeric screen on top to tell you what the total wattage is, not individual ports. Each one has an LED telling you if something's plugged in and it's drawing power. And in the back, you have a barrel connector. Now take a look at their charger. Look how beefy this thing is. This thing is huge. It's actually almost the size of the Pearl itself. Now this guy is a 15 volt, four amp, 60 watt max. It's rated for 60 watts. So it's, it's more than enough power to power this guy and all the devices at 2.7. So let's test this guy out a little bit to show you guys what we're dealing with. I'm gonna turn it over to the side right now. It's kind of easier to have the plug this way. And the first thing I'm gonna be testing is the draw. So they say it's rated at 2.7. So we're gonna see if it's able to actually get up to 2.7 or see if it freaks out or not. But here I have a little USB, I would say a discharger or a tester. So this will draw amperage and show you, you know, as I turn the dial, it's gonna go up. So I'm gonna plug this guy in now. And as you can see, it's 6.6 .6 watts. Uh, you can see it's 6.6 .6 watts on this tester. And this is a Power Z. I have a video if you guys want to check it out. Um, what this guy does, it's basically a meter. So it's running at 1.2 amps, 6 watts, 6.5 watts. And I'm just going to turn this dial up and wait until it hits 2.7 and see what happens. Or even if it's able to deliver. Oh, the fan's kicking on. So if you hear that buzzing noise, it's the fan. 2.1 amp, 2.2, 2.5, and we're at 2.7, 14 watts. This guy shows 13 watts. I'm gonna pull it up a little bit more and see what happens if I try to go over. Ooh, it just dies. You see that screen, it's flickering. Right, I'm gonna pull it back a little, comes back on. Hey, I guess it has some protection so it can't go past 2.7, but it could deliver up to 2.7. Another thing I want to test is the ability to communicate with certain devices. Now, this isn't a hub. Uh, this is just a power charger, but there are phones that minimal charges is, I think, 1 amp, and then uh, fast charging goes up to 2 amps or something like that. But you need to be able to communicate with the D plus and D minus for it to tell it, yeah, I'm, a, I'm able to deliver that type of voltage. Now, supposedly this guy does have that ability, so I'm going to test that out right now. And uh, again, I'm going to put the tester in so you guys can see what's going on. Uh, it's at 5 volts, and we're going to be using my phone as the experiment, and I'm going to plug in the USB-C. Now, fast charging doesn't mean it's going to bring up the voltage from 5 volts to 9 volts or whatever it is. This is just going to bring up the amperage. Now, as you can see, it initializes at 0 0.9 amps. So that's good so far. And once the device, I guess, communicates with the Pearl charger, it should bump up. So we're going to wait for that to happen and see, see what happens, basically. So there we have it. You see, it just bumped up from 0 0.9 to 1.9. Now it's fast charging my phone. So it does communicate and it does tell it that hey I need to draw more power. Now you can see I'm doing 1.9 and I'm charging my phone. I'm gonna plug this guy in. Again, this guy which is the USB discharge. And you're gonna see 
it doesn't throttle. It doesn't drop past 0 0.90. And I'm going to bump this up a bit. I'm going to keep going up. And you can see it's still stable. It doesn't move. And right now, uh, when I left it, it was like 2 amps or something. Oop, see, that was too much. It's drawing 2.7 right now. And that has not shifted the load, 1.9. State, it does not throttle. That's that's the biggest thing. I mean, if you guys got these devices and able to test your charger, you'll see that it dips. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a quick test and review on this Pearl charger. It does work really well, especially the throttling that I was talking about. It charges my phone really fast at 1.9 amps. Um, again, all the links will be in the description below. And by this time, maybe once the Kickstarter kicks on, I'll leave that link as well. If you guys are new to this video, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.